I'm going to combine my carrot, onion, and garlic and my mushroom mixture. Okay, we're about to head back to the stove top, but before we do that, we're gonna make our spice mix. One teaspoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one half teaspoon cilantro. We want it spicy, so one teaspoon chili powder, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of onion powder. a bowl and I'm keeping it warm with a foil and now we're gonna get to our guacamole. So in the bowl I've already prepared a small dice of a fourth of a red onion and one clove of minced garlic. And for the next step I have already taken the time to cut a tomato in half and in quarters and cut the inside of the tomato out so we're just using the skins for the guacamole. And all I'm gonna do is turn it on it's side up, it's easier to cut that way. Take my knife, cut it into strips, turn it on its side, and cut it into a small dice. And once that's done, just go in your bowl. Next, I'm gonna small dice a jalapeno. This is all up to you. If you don't want the jalapeno in here, then leave it out. But if you are spice freak like I am, put it in there. If you want it even more spicy, keep the seeds on. I'm gonna take the seeds off because I have some people in my family who might not like as much spice as I do. So I'm gonna cut off the ends, put it down the center, cut it in half again so it's easier to take those seeds out. And then one by one, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna slice the seeds out. And set those aside. Scrape off any extra seeds you have and set these aside for later. And now we're gonna even cut these thinner. So face up again your jalapeno. You're gonna be cutting it into strips and then doing that same technique where you cut it into dices. the star of the show, the avocado. So make sure that your avocado is nice and ripe. It should be gentle to the touch. Not too squishy, but just a right amount. It's really hard to tell the ripeness of an avocado, but. Oh, also, I like to take out the stem first because you don't want to bite down on that later on. So take that stem out. You're just going to take the knife and gently cut inwards until you feel the pit. Twist it open. Oh, there's a baby pit. And then you're gonna slightly chop down on that pit and then take it out. I like to just put it on my board and I'll throw it away later. I take a fork or a spoon and I scoop it into my bowl. Okay, we 
have everything in a bowl. We're gonna mix it together simply with the fork. You can also use your hands if you have gloves. I like to do that sometimes just because it's fun. But right now I'm gonna use a fork and then we are going to uh, season it as we go. So we're gonna put a little bit of lime juice and salt, taste it, see if it needs anything, and add more of what we need. Okay, so we're all mushed up. And I like my guacamole a little chunky, so I didn't go as much uh, with the mixing. You can see this is kind of the consistency that I like to get it to. So now I'm gonna add my lime juice. Put it straight down the center. And remember, we're doing this to taste, so that means adding a little bit at a time, tasting it, and seeing if it needs anything more. Remember, you can't go back once you oversalt something, so that's why we're doing it this way. Just a little more lime juice, and then we should be good. That's it, let's taste it. Mmm, that's so good. I think the special ingredient in here is the garlic. I know, I don't know if a lot of people add garlic to their uh, guacamole, but this really makes it have a whole other uh, flavor profile. So really All right, now it's time for my favorite part, margaritas. Okay, so what you need is tequila. Doesn't matter what flavor. Contro, I can't. <laughs> Triple sec or contro, the same thing. Canada Dry or Sprite. Orange juice, you can get the created orange juice. I just didn't have any, so I squeezed them. Lime juice, if you don't have a shaker, that's fine. I just like to be fancy, so I have a shaker and a jigger or an ounce shot glass. So what I'm gonna do, ice in here already and we're just gonna fill it up and we're gonna shake it. So let's go with the tequila first. Two shots. This is for two people. But it can be for one. I won't judge you. One shot of triple set. That was kind of an overflowing shot, but that's cool. Orange juice, about one shot. Lime juice of one lime. I have two slices saved for garnish. I'm not gonna put in the Canada Dry just yet because it'll fizz everywhere once I shake it and that would be fun. Get my shake off. <laughs> Tequila! All right. Evenly pour into two glasses is the hardest part. Perfect. I'm gonna top with some Sprite or Canada Dry. And garnish with two lime wedges. Okay, let's go over what we did together. We made corn tortillas from scratch. We made a plant-based meat yummy taco filling. We made guacamole, and we made a yummy Mexican martini. Now for my favorite part, we're gonna plate. So take any kind of plate that you want. I chose this because it has kind of a rustic feel, and it goes with my Mexican theme that I'm doing. So I have this plate. I'm gonna choose the best tortillas to use. Let's do these two. Place them down. My tortillas are small, so I don't want to overwhelm the tortilla with the filling. So I'm just going to do a little dollop of everything. So take some of my meat, put it in the center. And you can get creative with this. If you have any other toppings that you like to put on your tacos, I definitely suggest you throw them in there. Next, I'm gonna to top with the guacamole. 
Height is always a really good thing to think about when you're plating. It makes it look more dramatic. Awesome. Next, I'm going to top it with some Greek yogurt. You can also use sour cream. I just like the taste of Greek yogurt better. Finally, I'm going to top it with some cilantro. So I've already torn some off. I'm just going to tear it off a little bit more and sprinkle it over. Does not require precision at all. This is so pretty. Ta da! Thanks, guys, for cooking with me, and I hope you enjoy your Mexican feast.